three back to the back. Three, three, three backs. Hey, hello. Yeah, let's keep it going. Let's make some noise over here. the tech booth. Boo. Just kidding. Just kidding, Noah. Hello and welcome, Grand Rapids. Thank you for joining us this evening. I'm your anchor, Josie Sabo. And I'm your other anchor, Zach Christian. And I'm your other, other anchor, Sean Francis. And because you may think that 2020 was still only last year, we're delivering you the local, national, and world stories that you may have missed. You're welcome, Grand Rapids. This is... Newsflash! Dong ding. Yeah. And our top story tonight. This Thursday marks the beginning of Hanukkah. Mm. But more importantly, my dad has a very special birthday next Monday. Whoa! Yeah! Cool! Yeah! Let's say happy birthday to Zach's dad, huh? Can we say hi? Sure. Oh, oh he's out of town. Oh. Oh. Well, that's anticlimactic. Um. But he'll watch on YouTube, right? The camera's over here, right? Uh, yeah, that's right that way. You yes, will be yeah. watching this on YouTube, wow. right? Wow. Threatening your father. He has video. Interesting. <laughs> Happy birthday, Zach's dad! Happy birthday, Zach's dad! More like baking. Yeah, sure. Some one of the two. Uh, the biggest story right now, of course, is that Congress has officially voted to expel George Santos from Congress uh, on Friday. Uh, what a historic bipartisan vote, uh, including 100 of his so-called fellow Republicans. What a mitzvah, huh? huh? Okay, close enough. All right. <laughs> Before the holidays, he was going to start making anybody who's still currently unemployed look really bad. Like, he has a job, but... Um, actually, as of today, this is true. Santos has already set up a profile on Cameo as a former congressional icon for $200 of videos, or $500 if you're a grandparent. Uh, here to comment, uh, we actually have the CEO of Cameo, apparently. Uh, yeah, we, I don't know how we landed this, but uh, Stephen Galanis, everybody. Hey! Woo! I'm so excited to be here. You're, you're not. Because That's, this is the biggest year that Cameo has had since our founding. So, wait, you're not. And you're next Steven year Galanis. is. Huh, what? You're George Santos in disguise. <laughs> That's not a real beard. I, I, I see a fake beard a mile away. It's George Santos. All right, beard. all right, okay. I'm George Santos in a fake beard, cleverly disguised as a Midwestern improviser. Okay. The perfect costume for here, all where right. no one would expect to see me. What are you doing? Uh, are you just trying to like get? I'm bear started? hunting. I'm one of the country's greatest bear hunters. That's the, not even a provable fact. How and I do it barehanded, which they call it <laughs> barebacking. That's what they call it. That's they not, call it barebacking. No, it's not my thing. fault. Okay, I guess well, since you're here, uh, do you have any questions for George Santos, guys? No. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Well, we'll handle it if you don't need to. <laughs> I'm scanning for babies. I'm seeing if there are any babies. No, 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 ba no babies here. No, not they, yet. Well. <laughs> Why is that ominous? <laughs> look, uh, look, George, I think people would just rather... Sean and I used to date. <laughs> that's, not, that's not true. That's absolutely true. I'm not ashamed to admit if it was, but it, I'm in putting this a label case, on it. No, I'm putting a label on it. We've literally never met before this moment. I, look, I, I, I think you're just doing more harm than good. I think if you really just wanted to, like make your problems go away you would just like keep a low profile but going on cameo and like coming to small midwestern improv theaters like it just seems really desperate i'll fight anyone here okay look george santos everybody give it up for him, i guess i don't know why Boy. speaking of fraud and lofty claims grand canyon university the nation's largest christian university was fined a record $37.7 million for deceiving students about the cost of its doctoral programs, with 78 paying 10 to 12 grand more than what they had been told. 
The school argued that they weren't deceiving anybody about the cost. It's like tax. Mm. The students simply failed to factor in a tenth of 10% of their family's income, oh, and then know. another 15% just for good luck. I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> Apparently, one doctorate is just a course learning to say thoughts and prayers as your thesis. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, what they don't know about the cost of education could just about fill the Grand Canyon's wallet. Mm. <laughs> In other shady college news, while most high school students are hopefully already applying to colleges, some of them could be getting acceptance letters without doing anything at all. What? 70 different colleges in 28 states are participating in Common App's newly launched direct admissions program, mm. which automates the acceptance process by sending out letters to qualifying students based on grades and test scores without them even sending in an application. This is for the students' benefits and has nothing to do with record low attendance rates. Mm. Depending on how successful this program is, some other apps are looking to use this method. Tinder will send out rejection letters to people <laughs> before they swipe on you. Liar will send out more confirmations for groceries you haven't paid for yet. And Cameo will send you a free George Santos video because nothing he says is true anyway. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's the thing. All of my cameos are technically Black Panther sequels. What? That that's is technically true. No, that can't, that doesn't make any sense. They're not in the MC. What? Okay, look, what? I'm not giving him another applause break. A freighter headed to Italy with 21,000 tons of wheat got stuck in the Detroit River last week. I don't know. Well, I don't know why that's exciting. Uh, apparently, there's so much legal marijuana in Michigan now, even the rivers have the munchies. Um, a tugboat named Wisconsin was used to free the freighter. This is true. Uh, which begs the question, how many states does it take to deliver one bag of wheat? Uh, while the Detroit River has no issues with the flow of industrial waste, its gluten allergy has caused a bit of a backup. <laughs> Until the freighter is freed, Italian pizzas are going to have to settle for the closest substitute to Michigan wheat, ground-up cardboard. <laughs> the seagulls have been eating this mixture of wheat and industrial runoff and have developed superpowers, and they have now been given their own Disney Plus show called Guardians of the Dumpster. <laughs> A man from Kent County was the lucky winner of the $3.4 million Lotto 47 jackpot. Ooh. While he has apparently chosen to keep his identity anonymous, he can easily be identified as the only person not depressed in Kent County. <laughs> <laughs> Reportedly, he plans his first purchases to be a full course at the Chop House, mm. which, after covering the Ticketmaster fees for season passes to the new amphitheater, DeVos Hall, Van Andel Arena, and Frederick Meyer Gardens, should be just enough to cover about six months of rent in Kent County. <laughs> Ann Arbor police were forced into a low speed chase with a forklift that had been hijacked by a 12 year old. <laughs> yeah, just last week. Mm -hmm. He was reportedly on his way to try to steal his neighbor's treehouse. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted to be a Kia boy, but at this rate, he might wind up being an IKEA boy. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Several attempts to subdue the child were unsuccessful, such as when police painted a mural of the Fortnite map on a cliff <laughs> while hoping to stop him. But the boy drove straight through it. <laughs> the police did try to pursue him, but they were smashed flat on impact. Interesting. Okay. But finally, the AAPD knew they had to bring in the one team that could stop a 12-year-old rampaging on a forklift. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. In other absurd traffic news, GRPD had to deal with a cow that got loose on 131 this weekend. Yep. Yeah. Talk about uh, beef grated on an S-curve. <laughs> uh, apparently, the bovine had sworn revenge for the milk spill from the week before. We all that, right? We have a picture of that, I think. Yeah, in there. Next, there we go. Look at that. Look. 
Uh, it does not look like milk. Uh, so, uh, this, I've heard of about people having beef with other drivers, but this is ridiculous. Uh, it's also proof that horsepower is overrated. The chase eventually climaxed when the cow was uh, sadly hit by a truck carrying ketchup, mustard, and cheese. <laughs> After that, drivers had to move over. This entire joke has been brought to you by the GR subreddit comments on this very story. <laughs> Special winter enchanted borealis trails are coming to two Michigan state parks. Seven Lake State Park in Holly and Ionia State Recreation Area in Ionia. These consist of lanterns and holiday lights along trails. Because nothing says holiday magic like twinkling lights, frozen trails, and frostbite. The real enchantment is if you make it through and don't hallucinate seeing the actual Aurora Borealis. <laughs> A customer has filed a lawsuit against the restaurant Chops for reportedly being served a salad with a piece of a severed finger inside. Apparently the customer was mostly upset about being charged for extra protein they didn't order. <laughs> with a name like that, you get what you pay for. Mm -hmm. Though the manager supposedly responsible was fired from Chops, he was immediately rehired by Wendy's. Perfect. <laughs> Makes a lot of sense. A uh, lateral move at best. Uh, the, the Beatles have beaten Elton John uh, for a record of the longest span of first to final entry on the Billboard charts with their uh, last single, Now and Then, which came out last month. Uh, talk about these boomers not wanting to retire, right? Uh, in response, Elton John has announced his sixth farewell tour. <laughs> He's not going to give it up to the Fat Four that easily. Here to talk some more about this, it's Elton John? What? Wow. Yeah. Okay, okay, here's the thing. <laughs> I'm really Elton John, but Sean and no, I really no, did date, no. and it was successful. I would and gladly really, date really Elton Joel John. And I, I are Sean's sister wives. What? That doesn't make any sense. We're no. in love. No, no. George Santos, stop. You are not Elton John. Stop trying to intertwine our fingers. <laughs> I don't have a problem with being married to a man. I just have a problem being married to you. <laughs> I'm a gay icon. Okay, that's <laughs> definitely not true. All right. Don't go breaking this part of the <laughs> New studies suggest dinosaurs were killed off by more than an asteroid. The study was apparently conducted by an asteroid PR firm and claims alternative causes were volcanoes, floods, and lack of asteroid insurance. <laughs> Fact checkers corroborated these claims by asking Biden to recall stories from his childhood. <laughs> apparently things also just went really downhill for the dinosaurs when they created Dino GPT, re-elected Trumposaurus Rex, and stormed the Capitol. <laughs> Still, there are some asteroid truthers out there. Paleontologists are now asking citizens to call in if they have any information on this individual, Lee Harvey Asteroid, <laughs> or his accomplice, Haley's Comet. Mm -hmm. This really is just the natural pipeline for kids obsessed with dinosaurs to get into baby's first conspiracy theory. Mm -hmm. My five-year-old nephew just wants the murderer found. Look, I've done my own research on Pangea. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Great impressions up here. A study published in the Journal of Science found that shin strap penguins in Antarctica take more than 10,000 four minute naps a day while caring for their eggs, which is almost as much as the news flash writers. Sorry, wake up, Zach. I'm not usually up here. Oh, that's true. You're usually in bed by now. <laughs> and it's completely different from most human parents who don't sleep at all. That's true. Mm -hmm. Contestants on Netflix's Squid Game inspired reality show have sued the producers for poor on set conditions. Not because they were dangerous, they were just disappointed they didn't get to see actual squid. In related news, a proposed Hunger Games competition show is facing pushback because contestants are not meeting the love of their life and also <laughs> That's not really false advertising there. Uh, Tiffany's has released a Pokemon collection including a Pikachu pendant that costs 
just a cool $29,000, just in time for a last minute holiday <laughs> gift. Uh, if you're somehow an adult that loves Pokemon and makes more than 60K a year, surprise, you're probably a serial killer. The saddest thing about all of this is that all those Pokemon that are being forced to dig in the mines for all these diamonds. I know. In response, Jared has announced their competing line of Beanie Baby Baubles. Here, we here at Newsflash are looking forward to the inevitable prequel, Uncut Gems Jr. <laughs> the Ohio Supreme Court suspended an attorney who defecated into a Pringles potato chip can and then tossed it into the parking lot of a crime victim advocacy center. <laughs> that is just a true sentence about a thing that really, really happened. Oh boy. While many would assume he was rightfully discharged, he could potentially spin this into a marketing tactic and become the next Sam Bernstein. If your lawyer takes a shit, you must acquit! <laughs> Once you poop, you just can't stoop! Talk about your... Rapidal punishments. He always follows due due process. <laughs> He'll get you out on who roll. Or at least negotiate a pee bargain. I mean, I think he maybe bitch was just buying those Pringles that were made with Alestra. Or he just Four misunderstood words. why people called it using the can. <laughs> <laughs> Sadly, his record will always have this stain on it. But all he has to do is simply change his legal briefs. <laughs> but he'll still just be everyone's number two choice. <laughs> I don't think our writers for Newsflash, and if you'd like to see your name up here, you can submit your jokes to the email comedyoutloutmondays at gmail.com with the subject Newsflash Tips. Yeah, it takes a lot of people to make jokes these stupid. Uh, follow Comedy Outlet Mondays at Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Rewatch videos from past shows, get our lineups for future shows, and find our submission form to put your act on stage and learn about other ways you can get involved. And if you can't wait for that, you can hop up on stage after the show for the free improv jam. Yeah! But now, Grand Rapids, you're welcome. Newsflash, this is Comedy Outlet Monday! <laughs>